Test, 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 test. Hello and welcome. I'm afraid. Let's see, we start with the space guy, start with Earth Lady. Face the cupcakes. There you are. I was getting worried. Worried that I chickened out? No. I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right. Wait. I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm going to beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on. That's it. Beat her to the Maiden's Feast. Get a move on soon. Hmm. What a calm, quaint little town. Okay, shut up, you guys. She's coming. Hello? What's going on? Is it a surprise party? Is it an ambush? Surprise! Oh. Hello. Yay! There's my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. Valoria. I just can't believe. I was very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Get this good time over with. Oh, yes. No. Cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremony. Well, I guess we're going to be here forever. Until we find that ceremonial the knife. knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never going to find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Yep, he's hiding the knife. Uh, why not? Yeah, cupcakes. Oh, okay. Hello, grandmother breadhead. What is it, girl? Any idea where mom's knife is? We're late. If I knew, I would have cut that cake, shoved it down your gullets, and had us out the door already! Oh! 
Can I ask you about the maiden's feast? Aren't yes. You paying attention in maiden training. I wasn't paying attention in maiden training. <laughs> what is a Mog Chathra? Oh, that what sounds awful. Is Mog Chathra, the latest in a long, distinguished line of grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me. <laughs> Uh, Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. Beyond the Plague Dam? That sounds awful. I want to go beyond the Plague Dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe oh. you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. Oh, well... That doesn't sound good at all. I think I'm going to get devoured. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a Grand Mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chothra attacks Mog other towns. attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maidens feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Hmm. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so... Hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? The Grand Mogs have visited our lands for as long as anyone can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and... It is imagined breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the Maiden's Feast. All you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. Yeah, why don't we just so fight the Mog Chathra? Fight Mog Chathra. Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. <laughs> Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Ho, ho, ho. Well, let's talk to Grumpy Grandpa. Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> You know where mom's knife is? You know where mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this maiden's feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl. Stand up for yourself. I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Bravo. <laughs> Why do you hate the maiden's feast? Maiden's feast, Grandpa. Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? The Vena Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed. Pushed for a peace. So we went soft. Became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Oh, no. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. Did you hide it over here? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? No. Oh. Yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do. 
But your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. You know where mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Don't touch the red one! Mom made those just for me! You're going to eat all of those? I've already had six! That explains a lot. No backing out now. Too many people would see me. One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Supposed to look like Mag Chatra, my handsome date to the prom. It's just going to be me. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? Lavina? What is it, girl? My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. And bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. So why don't we just fight my I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. Wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl. Now that's beast and her blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> Mom, I was just wondering. Beastender? <laughs> hey Gramps, want a cupcake? No. I better go find that. He hid the knife. Somewhere. Can I go back here? Can I go through the door? Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt. Then I do something with the... Nope. I can't do anything with anything. Hmm. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using. Oh ho! One of my mom's special dish tap hiding them won't do any good. Rocky's got the scent. Drying that won't help. Something wet? I think that's supposed to look like Mag Chatra. My handsome date to the prom. Oh, do I have to give him the cupcake? Is it not automatic? Grandpa Beastender? <laughs> hey Gramps, want a cupcake? No. I'd better go find that knife. Oh, I can't just be like, hey, I'll give you a cupcake if you tell me where the knife is. That would be too easy. Let's grab another cupcake. We're just gonna feed Grandpa Mom and Dad cupcakes. Will be if there are any left over. The one you've got before you grab another. Mom, it's your special day. It's her special day. Grandpa wants cupcake. Gonna get Grandpa a cupcake. I'm too nervous to eat. Hey, you want a cupcake, Grandpa? 
No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. For me? Split it with you? Deal. On second thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? No, uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Oh, ho, tricked you, old man. Got your stupid knife now. Attack with knife. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chafra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. <laughs> That's sort of grim, dark. Majestic to behold. All inspiring, powerful, mysterious. But Mog Chafra is more than that. Merciful and generous, Mog Chafra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he passes through. Please come, Mog Chafra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. <laughs> Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. <laughs> no, it's not right. For one thing, I should be in the center. Ha, I make myself the center anyway. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopper with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. What do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work on me. I'm in it to win it, baby. You're making me You're hungry. Making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mob Chopper hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, brother! I will fuck you alive if you come near my food again! How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Okay, well, good luck with your giant drumstick. Good luck. you have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me. Sheesh. Okay, let's talk to the cakey the lady. Gets close. You can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. <laughs> no. I hear him. Look, there he is. Doesn't look good. No, he's so majestic. Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here. No, this way, Great One. I am the one you've come so far to find. Over here. I am in blue for you. He's drawn to the flame, like a giant moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord. Oh, yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then, after some careful consideration... <gasps> Yeah. 
Yeah. Shred this thing. It shredding my mom's dish towel isn't going to help. I'd never be able to cut through that thick hide. Even those eyes look armor plated. If those are even eyes. Hmm. How about uh, something bubbly to wash it down? Yeah. 
Oh, something's happening. <laughs> Whoa, Cloud City. What a weird game. Interesting. It's real quick though. We are I'm gonna turn off the face rigs. It's not really working. And the person who bought me the face rig is not in the chat room. So I can just do what I want. Turn off the face rig, turn on the webcam. Move that up a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. There you go. And since we're doing that, we can go ahead and go to options. Yep. Mm-hmm. See if we can go to options from here. Let's do save and exit. Main menu. We go to options. Full screen. Screen on. Is that better? Is that showing everything? Yep, that's showing everything. That works much smoother. Okay. And now we just got to. that up. That's probably going to... Mm. I'm going to find some way to get the Twitch chat to not goof up. Mm -hmm. Ho ho! Cool, there goes Twitch at. Alright, that works. Bow, bow, bow. Here we are playing Broken Age. I'm now stuck in the Cloud Kingdom. There's a weird guy over here. Thinks he's a bird. I escaped sudden death, imminent death from the Mog Chathra. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. That direction for more clouds. So these birds. Wanna give me a lift? No? This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that way. Hi, my name's Vella. Hi, my name's Vella. What's yours? I am Walter. Walter? Walter. With an apostrophe. We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm chick. <laughs> I'm chick. Who are? Yeah, uh, who's Jesse? That big blue oligo you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So. That's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. Is this Mariloft? I just escaped the maiden's I don't know. And now Mog Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? 
Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully, the upcoming ceremonies in Shellmound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I just thought maybe we could fight Mog Chakra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mog Chakra. These people are messed up. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Ha! Take that, Shell Mound. I just need to get home. I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Mom says she does. But she doesn't really. Right, Dad? <laughs> I need to get to Mog Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shellmouth. Hmm. Oh, how do I get there? How, get to uh, how does that work? Stink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloth. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Uh. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Hmm. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the breeder code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. Loose beaks cause leaks. Isn't that the truth? Tell me about Brother Lightbeard. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Why it should... Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. <laughs> okay, so it's some sort of weird cult. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Oh, okay, well that's nice. Well, you all take I'll care. See you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Jim. Sorry, Pop. No freestyling. The honor of a lonely heart. Those don't look like Jesse's. Uh, oh, I've been saved. Dang. All right, let's. Uh... Oh, you just fall right through. Well, how about that? <clears throat> How miraculous that I'm now saved. Let's... Can I go over to the other storyline? Or how does that work? Can I just click over? Oh, okay. Cool. Hey. Rise and shine, son. Better get up. Up, that's my boy. Oh, here comes your mother. There's my little angel. Oh, computer. No more snoozies for my little spaceman this morning. Hmm. Okay, let's clean up that dirty little body. Hey, 
Easy, computer. Oh, quit being so shy. I used to change your diaper. Uh, yeah, what difference does it make? What difference does it make? It doesn't. I guess, uh... We won't be sorry, Commander. I wonder if this bowl is as sick of cereal as I am. <laughs> Once more into the Milky Breach. It's happening. It's really happening. <laughs> now, sir, I don't just serve food. I also serve up nutrition facts and eating encouragement. For instance, that last spoonful was exactly 7.1 calories. Did you? Uh-oh. Uh, talking Amanda, spoon? Aren't you excited to see what the big deal is? Up on the bridge? No? Well then, want to know the viscosity of this morning's synthetic milk? Okay, computer. What's the big emergency? I wish you'd call me Mom, sweetie. I wish you called me Captain, computer. Okay, Captain, sweetie. Let's get down to business. <laughs> we are currently tracking multiple developing crises that need urgent attention. First of all, a massive avalanche has been reported on the planet Galarctica. Second, there's a runaway train in System 7 that's headed for Spike Canyon. We've also received a mayday signal from the vessel Friendship Circle. They're under attack. And, uh oh, this just came in. My sensors are reporting an entity of unknown origin has attached itself to the hull of this very ship. What are your orders, sweet uh, Captain? Huh. These all seem very important. Okay. Avalanche victims, they probably have some sort of rescue crew to help with that. Runaway train. Yeah, I can handle that. Defend the friendship circle. Yeah, I'll see. We have that. to defend the friendship circle. Oh, I just don't know who would attack those poor defenseless cuties. To the teleporter room. Yeah. I'm aboard the distressed vessel Friendship Circle. I found one of the crew. Oh no. Are you okay? What happened here? <laughs> From an enemy vessel or an alien creature? <laughs> or did you attack yourselves in a fit of space madness? <laughs> yes. Wow. Special nutrition paste for you today. Brown. <laughs> Ready for your next exciting space mission, honey? We've got an avalanche, a runaway train, a spaceship under attack, and a mysterious object on the hull. Back to the cuddle dungeon. Why not? <laughs> Uh, let's let's help with the avalanche. Maybe that's actually something. Maybe the spoon? I think I could use the spoon to dig out the ice cream.
fried chicken, kind of. Mmm. I love fried chicken, kind of. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Let's catch the Let's runaway catch train. train. Let's do it. Hi, Captain Sweetie. To System 7. What is this? This is so bizarre. Underutilized. Oh my god, it's the ticket to ride guy. Let's just see how many other ones they have. Nebulumps? Nebulumps. Yuck. No, I hate that. Soylent dreams. Soylent dreams. Nope. Not in that kind of mood. Crispy yet. bunches of space. <laughs> Man, that's horrible. Brain blasters? Oh, man, they just keep coming out with more of these. Strawberry comet trails. Please don't take this personally, but no thanks. Whole green nutrient paste? <laughs> Are you kidding? Gross. <laughs> you think much? <laughs> Are you even trying, computer? Galactic slime? I cannot believe how many cereals they came up with. I think I'm allergic to that. Splark? Splark? Seriously? Splark? Seriously? Are you trying to make me unplug you, computer? Oh, come on! You love Splark! Your saliva has a 0 0.001 pH imbalance today. May I suggest more whole grain nutrient paste? What mission should we go on next? Mm. Better suit up and investigate that foreign body. Ooh, I don't like you going out there. Let's use the safety suit. Ah, oh, come on. Maybe this will uh, actually be some kind of challenge. I think I found it. I found the object. 
It appears to be something organic in nature. Something's telling me I should stick my face right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? That wasn't even. I gotta get out of this routine. Fattening avalanche, cuddle dungeon, fake train wreck. Uh. Okay, let's do. A spoon and a present. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Oh, look. It's another grab and carry robot. Can't wait to put it in the trash. I mean, my collection. Grab and carry robot. Okay. I got a grab and carry robot. What's this thing over here? Fake controls. What a surprise. More fake controls. Fake. Fake controls. What a surprise. Hmm. More fake controls. Fake. All fake. Okay. Let's. They sealed off my escape. Fiends. Ah. Uh, what's a, what's the big pile of thingies? Sit in those beanbag chairs. I'm afraid they'd cuddle me. Wake up. Dad? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't make the bed. <laughs> no, I just. <laughs> You're going to love this dinner pill. Deep fried nutrition paste. Mmm. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? Here we go again. Um, we got the grab and Gary. Uh, let's try. Yeah, let's, I maybe I can use the. Okay, watch out for that foreign body on the hull. Yeah, right. Man, he is just dying to grab something. No. I can't abort this mission until I've seen it through, no matter how stupid it is. Woo! Aww. Can I jump over the thing? Here we go! Man! Okay, I need to cut the cord, apparently. Maybe I can. Back presence is rude. Huh. Hey, I'm floating in and out. Well, it's good to see you. But this time, take it easy. Glad you logged on. Another day full of amazing adventures is over. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. Morning, buddy. Up and at him. Yeah, let's do the Chaco Rocket. Sure. Difference doesn't make. It doesn't. jump off a cliff than do this again. Uh, f 
fattening avalanche. Don't care. Let's go this way. Discovered a strange feature over here, computer. Just ignore that, Shay. No, Gary doesn't like to grab things without handles. Hmm. Hey, check this out. Why not check out us? Don't worry. I'll figure out how to get you out of there soon. We know you will. We believe in you, Shay. We believe in you, Shay. Oh, no, yeah. I know the spoon. Um, they're making me do this again for some reason. Salad sandwich in a tube. What mission should we go on next, sweetie? But if I took a dive on one of these missions, that would change things. Fake train wreck. Fake train wreck, please. I knew you choose choo choose that one. To system seven. We're gonna crash into Spike Canyon! Nah. Let's just let it happen. Yep, let go. Let it happen. I don't know how long I can hold on to this. Just let go. Take a dive. <sighs> it's not going to let me, is it? <laughs> You're not going to let go, are you? Well, we're stuck in the snow. Eat the other passengers. It's a little early for that. Why not yell at the bridge man first? <sighs> Finally yell at the bridge man. Bridge man. Great. Now don't do anything else. I'm going to let go. Back to sleep, bridge man. Son, what are you doing? Shay! Ah! What were you thinking? You could have saved us so easily. I'm going to have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. He's going to die hard. Understand. Okay. Is it is it but psychic? No one. Hey, wait. What? No discussion about it, young man. You need to rest and heal up in bed until further notice. Computer, I'm fine. Obviously. No, you might fracture. That can happen. No, it can't. <laughs> All missions are canceled. I love you. <sighs> Time to get up. Time to get going. No missions. I 
can do whatever? Yeah. Hold on, I got that key from the fox. It looks like a weird little screwdriver. She said cool. It's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. It's a tank of compressed air. Could be useful. Missions canceled until further notice. Let's pick up everything. Whoops. Hmm. The air vent is screwed shut with these weird little screws. Oh yeah? How about a weird little screwdriver? I don't know, open it. It works. Hmm. What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. It looks like an inflatable raft. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? We're escaping, that's what we're doing. An inflatable raft. <gasps> I know what it'll do. I'll put the inflatable raft in bed, and they'll think it's me. Because I look like an inflatable raft. I don't think that will help inflate it. Oh, alright. How about we use the tank of compressed air? Maybe this air tank has enough pressure to blow up this raft. Whoa. It looks like a blow up doll of me. Ugh. Creepy. That's weird. Well, that'll that'll definitely work to help distract them. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the warden. <laughs> yeah, it should definitely fool them. Alright, time to escape through the air vents. Where's my little angel? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think I almost lost you today. Sleep tight, you little hero. <laughs> Man, yeah, right. computers are stupid. Never seen this part of the ship before. You came because you are done with children's games. Yes. Who are you? My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you Marek. is no game. While you've been drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains, war has been raging across the galaxy. War? Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and <laughs> we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces oh. of tyranny and may soon be executed. But yes. We we have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk in a way she could never understand. Hmm. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? <laughs> this feels First, shady. We have like... to get to the Talon Nebula. Take this star chart to the navigation room. I have an earpiece for you to wear so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. Get on it. 
Get on it. Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Oh, why am I taking orders I from this coyote? It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protective. Okay. Well, we'll take the air vent, like you said. Ah, the young master has come to play with the space wheeler. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh, man. A real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> uh, I go down the ladder. Is this the uh Some stars on this star chart do seem to correspond to the nav scarf pattern. Nav scarf? Well, let's hand it to this thingy. There you go, buddy. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? That is an easy one for the Space Weaver. <laughs> so their space technology is based off of Red initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spin at rotational velocity. Deploy nav scarf in five, four, <sighs> three, two, one. Ooh. Holy crap. Thank you, Space Weaver. That was very gracious of you. Let's see what's over here. This door is locked. Oh. Alright, I guess we're going back to Coyote. Hello, Mr. Coyote. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cop. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. This is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. This is so bizarre. Why is there a coyote in my spaceship? To lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above. I got it. Great work, Shay. What in the, now the boom arms will world? In and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cop. Now oh, must thank you. Quickly Coyote. Before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Careful. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. Got it's one. pretty Great. simple. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No. I'm not going to leave you behind. You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? <laughs> Danger System 5. Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Jeez. It's getting intense. The hell was that Talon Nebula thing? Why am I trusting this coyote? I feel good about this. All 
Uh, actually, I want to talk to the Space Weaver first. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it's safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart and the fabric of time and space shall be made to serve your passage. Hmm. Hey, Space Weaver. Can you take me here? Excellent choice, young sir. Are you ready to rock and roll? I would like some context. Hooray! We made it! Let's go back to the coyote and see what he has to say. Okay. We should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. <laughs> oh no! This still doesn't seem very challenging. Wait for it. Great work. Don't wait forever, though. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Come on. Just push oh. the button. Okay, that's enough. What do you mean that's enough? I mean, enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. I can do it. There's I can save this guy. There is no need for this. There we go, gotcha. You're safe now, little bubby. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before. What? Attention, ship is under attack. What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature. Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the control. Yeah. How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who mm. knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> As soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Oh, crap. I'm in trouble now. Everything's fine. Shay. Shay. Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, well, good job, Shay. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? Oh, yep, that's it. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. Ship under attack, everything's fine. luck with the 
the ship's controls? No, but we intercepted a new distress signal, this time from Prima Doom. Prima Doom? How are we going to get control of the ship's cargo boom arms? We'll mm. need to attempt a manual override. The manual boom arm controls are located here. You can get to them through the ship's airlock here. I've hacked the airlock door so you can now open it without alerting the over mother. Well, that's all well and good. Take down the shields. The shields require so much power. They have a dedicated source. This fusion orb. Take this Omicron inhibitor and place it over the fusion orb. And when the time is right, we'll turn it on and turn off the fusion orb. Along with the ship's shields. Got it. Oh, okay. The distress call was from Prima Doom? How do we get there? Same as always. Take this star chart to the Space Weaver and hope for the best. Well, yeah, let's ask them some real questions. Tell me how we get to I already it. asked that. How long have you been living so, here? How long have you been living in here? I am a recent stowaway. I came because I sensed you were ready. Are you really a wolf? Are you really a wolf? No, I wear this disguise to blend in with your other stuffed animal friends. Weird. So, that's a wolf suit? What are you underneath? I am what I do. A rescuer of creatures in need. Just like you. Why do I have to be the one to choose who to rescue? A boy your age just has good instincts for the job. I'd better get back to the mission. Yes. Our window of opportunity won't last forever. This seems highly suspect. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Cool. Um, all right, well. Let's check out the rest of the ship. The helpless creatures we rescued are being quarantined in there. Wish I could let them out. But it's for their own safety, I guess. Hmm. They seem happy enough. The hell? Hey, the helmet comes off. Ah, my first hazard suit. Kept out Omicron radiation and kept in diaper leaks. I wonder what's in those creepy jaws. That should be for acting. Acting like I cared about the stupid missions on this ship. Weird. Teleport you to the Nexus. Yeah, teleport oh, me to the part of my day. Uh, that door is weirdly uh Hey, my my head. What's wrong? My head is smaller. Uh yeah, you just used a teleporter. Why did my head shrink? Quantum physics. Duh. Don't worry, it'll all go back to normal when you take the trip back through me. How tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? Can I wear the radiation helmet? It's sealed shut. I think she had it bronzed. I couldn't even wear it as a teleporter. Activate. Yes, sir. Oh. You mean the junk room? Yeah. Nope. No. Teleporter. Activate. This way to the fusion ore containment facility. Yeah, let's go to the fusion ore. That's what I need. Let's do it. Okay, now my head is just getting ridiculous. Oh boy, you went through two teleporters with our return trip, didn't you? You're playing with fire, kid. Yes, I am. I'm gonna put on a tiny, tiny helmet. How tiny was I when I used to wear this radiation helmet? I guess I must have been even tinier. Caution, entering an area of strong Omicron radiation levels. Radiation shielding mm. necessary to proceed. Lay it on me. Thank you. Goodbye. 
Hey, where's my helmet? That's just great. Where this one? It's almost small enough to fit in this helmet now. Oh no. I'm not getting any closer to that fusion orb without my radiation. Uh, okay. Boiling my brain is not the kind of danger I'm looking for. All right, I need to go through another teleporter. Let's do it. Let's suck it to it. Teleporter activated. May I teleport you to the next room? Oh, this is the best part of my day. These computers are creepy. Bye. Teleporter activated. To the starboard passageway, sir. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe, maybe I can find my way back through uh, some other way. Bye. Now there's a little hex hexagonal. Whoa, what's in here? Big green field. Passengers are still in grief counseling. Can't I ride the train again? Man, four, five. All right, whatever train man. Next time it happens, one of your toys, Shay. Other than that, which you retrieve at trash morning. Objects placed in this trash chute will be jettisoned from the ship. That's probably good to know. Oh. Is this the cuddle dungeon? It's actually got something sticking out of it. Looks like it's been stabbed. Hey, missions are canceled. You can drop the app. It's not an app! I think I pulled a muscle in that rock attack you gave me! My back is killing me! Hey, I didn't attack you. You guys attacked me. Is that what you came Maybe hey, I can fix your back. Fix your back. Really? Yeah, I think I see what's wrong. Hold still. Oh, the hell are You're these welcome. things? Now can we run the attack mission protocol? Sure, buddy. I owe you one. Aww. Wake up. Dad? Yeah, yeah. Let's get this over with. Looks like someone can't wait for their <laughs> No, I just... <laughs> okay, cool. I got a hook. It's gonna be useful for something. Hello, man. Anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Okay, bye. Ice cream avalanche. Yep. Hey guys. I suppose you want to run the Avalanche Mission Protocol. Hey, we're supposed to be on break. Nope. I just wanted to see what you guys were up to. Not much, you know. Oh, you adorable little thingies, you. When the candy and treats are all you can eat 24-7, they just aren't that appetizing anymore. Oh, this kid's got some real tough problems. Shh. 
It's a whipped cream gum. And oh. it's mine. That's weird. Do we really need all that whipped cream? Yeah, to keep you away from that ice cream up there. Uh, maybe I can hook the whipped cream gun off. I don't know how I would crochet that. Oh, it's a crochet. Four. Maybe we can grab it. Nah. No. Nope. You know, it doesn't matter what Gary wants to grab. Gary's got to grab it. Air, whipped cream. I'm my cream for a matter of life and death. Mm. So, what's up here? Careful! That whipped cream is unstable! Okay, so I'm not supposed to go up there. Got it. Well, now I have to go up there. <sighs> well, maybe I can turn off the whipped cream machine or something. the story of the sacrifice girl a million times i know the ending sacrifice girl is you right what i'm trying to tell you is that i made a hard choice but i regret nothing because great story computer i'm sorry they programmed you with someone's sad memories but i have to go you know the truth deep down son and i know you'll appreciate my words someday uh-huh brother so weird. Uh, let's go in here. Oh, cool. Okay, so now I can go around. And get to the teleporter. Make my head extra small. Go that way. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 Get it done. Uh, teleport? You already went through me, but you didn't teleport back through me. So? So, your head is still messed up. You can't go through again, or it will get worse. You have to teleport back through me the other way, so your head goes back to normal size. So many rules on this ship. Your head is more important than you realize, Shay. Hmm, okay. Hmm. If I can find some other way around. Did I go through that one? I can find a way back to the Nexus room. Hello, Weaver. Uh, let's go here. What the hell? Let's see what's. Why won't this open? Oh, honey, you can't come in here. I'm working on a surprise for you. What is it? Nice try. Going back in there if I can help it. Why am I wasting time in this kitchen when I could be out in space? Don't you have anything else to do? Just making sure you're safe. Hey, look, a knife. Can't believe she'd leave something this dangerous lying around. 
What's that? Nothing. Bingo. Now I can stab people to death. Which I'm assuming is the ultimate goal of this game. Uh, that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. Can't go in there, but I um, can go back through here, maybe. Is this the bedroom? Yep. Okay, let's go back through somewhere. Okay. How do I get to the Nexus to begin with? Oh yeah, here you go. Take that. We need to go here right away. Prima do. Negative. That system is forbidden due to likelihood of hostile activity. But it's an emergency. Sometimes safety is the most exciting adventure of all. Might I suggest somewhere safe, like puppy planetoid, cozy cluster, or the Somewhere in the smile system? Yeah, let's try Puppy Planetoid. Let's try Puppy Planetoid. Sounds wonderful. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. I'm sure Spin what you meant here was this. Velocity. Slight Deploying alteration here. Start in five. I'm sure what he meant here was this. Four, three, two, one. Oh my. I... I seem to have made an error. This is the star team. chart for Prima Doom. Not sure how that happened, sir. Shall I try again? Okay. All right, this is what I got to do. Gotcha. One, two. Okay. Yeah. Where shall we go today, Wise Commander? Let's go to the Puppy Planetoid. Right. Let's try Puppy Planet. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and warp drive. Looks like the Space Weaver has encoded Intake the star chart into a graph of mid hmm. I wonder if I can mid with this. this. Actually, it's a crochet hook, Spin so you can probably crochet with it. Wow. I know a lot about the Arncoms. Wolf costumes don't make themselves. Three. Two. One. I didn't get a chance to mess with it. Crap. Like the place. Cool, we're at the puppy planetoid. All right, let's. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. I'll bet I could use this crochet hook to make alterations in the map scroll. This is the star chart for Prima Doom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it real quick. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Nobody's watching, so.